I got an email today. Dad, how do I read a waveform? LOL, Maisie. I guess LOL means lots of love. It could mean laugh out loud. But then, I'm not sure why it would be funny. While initially a curious looking beast, the waveform is just a graphical representation of your camera's signal. And in practice, it's a great way to monitor exposure. It's much more powerful than a histogram in analyzing your image. While a histogram is useful for seeing clipping and crushing and highlights and shadows, the lumpy bit in the middle is kind of useless. There's no scale of reference. I mean, if the middle of the histogram is to the left, then you know it's dark, but, well, you could just look in the viewfinder. On the other hand, a waveform tells you where in the image the light levels, or more specifically, the luma levels fall, and by how much. When reading a waveform, it's best to separate it into two parts, top to bottom and left to right. Top to bottom gives you luma levels from white with no detail at the top to black with no detail at the bottom and all the shades of gray in between. Imagine a histogram on its side. The more the trace of the waveform becomes solid and straight at the top or the bottom, the more the image is being clipped or crushed. Again, a lot like a histogram. But now comes the good bit. Viewing the waveform from left to right shows you the image as it really is from left to right. That is, the width of the waveform graphically represents the width of your image. And this is what makes a waveform so powerful. You can relate it exactly to the scene in front of you. So for example, if there is a window in your shot, you can see the window in the waveform exactly as it is in your image. And then you can see where you are losing detail in the highlights and where you are not. Brilliant. Here is another example. Looking at the waveform, you can see where the shadows lie in this image and that they are crushed here, but not here. Now what about the scale? The scale on the vertical axis from black to white can be in IREs, in bit depth, or in millivolts. Don't worry about the millivolts. If you work with Photoshop a lot, then the 8-bit scale 0 to 255 or even the 10-bit scale 0 to 1024 may make a lot of sense to you and be easier to visualize from black to white. IRE is the traditional scale. IRE stands for International Radio Engineers. It's the group that came up with the standard. Hmm, radio with pictures? 0 IRE is absolute black and 100 IRE is full white. Now, because it goes from 0 to 100, I treat it like a percentage scale. I'm not sure if this is technically correct, however, it's easy to visualize, and so far, it seems to have worked. Now, you can capture luma levels higher than 100, so-called super whites. However, do be aware that if you're shooting for broadcast, then these levels will be clipped at 100 before you go to air, so you will need to bring them down in the grade if you want to see any of that detail. If you look at a log image on a waveform, it looks compressed, like this. Whereas a LUT, such as Rec. 709, shows the waveform in all its expanded glory. If you are shooting log with a LUT as a guide, which is usually the case, then it's a good idea to keep an eye on both the log waveform and the LUT waveform. With the log waveform, you get a really good idea of what's going on under the hood, what's being clipped and what's being crushed on the camera original. And with the LUT waveform, you get a really good idea of how things might be and where things are being lost in the final result when it comes to grading down the line. Anyway, I hope this helps. Lots of love, Dad.